Our next guest is only in high school, but he's turned his sneaker obsession into a thriving business. And here to tell us all about his sneaker pawn shop and show us some of the most coveted kicks on the market is Chase Reed. Chase, welcome to the yes. show. How hey, you doing? Chase. So, how many pairs you. of sneakers do you own? Well, I don't own it, and I don't own as much as I used to. I used to own about two to three hundred pairs, and now I only have like you know, 20 to 30 pairs. Really? What happened Only? to the other ones? Well, I gave up my collection to start the store. Like, my father gave me an option whether I wanted to open up a business or I just wanted to be a normal sneaker collector. And, you know, of course, I chose something that would work out long term. And so it's definitely, it's definitely working out. So you sold all your sneakers? Yes, I sold all my sneakers to get the store that we have now. And you made $30,000 out of selling those sneakers, yes. right? Wow. wow. So where did your obsession with sneakers come from and when did it start? Well, it's not really my obsession. It's everybody's obsession. Like, everybody True. has an obsession with sneakers. <laughs> so, I mean, but it basically started, you know, when I started to get to high school, you know, you want to look nice and you want to, you know, outdress everybody when you get to high school. And I had so much clothes, but I didn't have enough sneakers. So, you know, it turned into, well, let me just start collecting sneakers. So I, my parents were spoiling me and, you know, getting me every sneaker that was coming out. And after a while, they started to realize, like, all right, we're buying you too much. So now I went out and started selling sneakers on my own and, you know, re reselling sneakers at secondary stores, such as I was now. Mm -hmm. And th so that's basically how I got into the idea of, well, let's open up a sneaker store. And then, of course, I was, it would be times where I needed money to either go buy sneakers or go buy an outfit or go out with my friends. And I would have to give my father the sneakers I just brought and he would give me money for them. And then I would have two weeks to come back. So it was, it was like I'm basically pawning my sneakers to him. So it was, it was just. So and that's when the yeah. light bulb went yeah, off. Yeah, that's when the light bulb like... went off. Like it's, it has to be thousands of sneakerheads out there that would be that would be willing to pawn their sneakers for whatever reason. So wow. who's your customer? Well, our customers is everybody. You know, you have people that come from overseas, you know, tourists that come. You have people from the neighborhood in Harlem that come, Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, and a lot of people even out of state are calling and even out of the country are calling. Really? So we, Walk us through how it works, though, because it's like a pawn shop where they yeah. have jewelry and electronics, but you have sneakers and tons of shoes instead. Well, basically, you could come into the store and we buy, we sell, and, you know, we customize, and we do everything with sneakers. And, of course, pawn is the biggest part where you come in and you have 30, you have 90 days, and each 30 days you pay a $20 storage fee for your sneaker. And basically, after the 90 days, if you haven't come for your sneaker, it's ours. So someone brings you a vintage pair of Air Jordans, mm -hmm. and they say to you... We've had that. You've had oh, that happen. Yes. And so you say to them, these are hot. But yeah. you can't have them. We'll give you this amount of money. Well, it's been instances where we had to give them less because if you take a Jordan from 20 years ago mm -hmm. or you take a Jordan from 16 years ago, it's sort of like if the sneaker wasn't worn, it's the more possibility that it would actually rip and tear apart. Okay. Mm. So, so on what, average, how much money do you give mm. to these people when they're coming to you for a loan at well, your pawn shop? Well, on average, on a pawn shop, probably a tiny bit above, I mean, tiny bit below retail, and that's, so say a sneaker's 180, probably 150 or 125, gotcha. depending on the sneaker. Okay. So what are some of the more exclusive shoes you have in your shop? And do you have those holy grail Yeezys? <laughs> uh, no, we actually had a guy come in with Yeezys, but we didn't, we, it was just, like, the prices on Yeezys, it's just exclusive sneakers, so mm. that is more of a consignment sneaker. Okay. But, Talk to us about some of these yeah. prices. So we have, right here, we have two of the sneakers that I customized. These were the bread 11s, and I made this red part. I made the white part right here red, and mm. so this is one of the things I customized, and this was actually an all-white sneaker. Really? And wow. it was all white with elephant print, if you look closely. And... Mm. I can see it. Yeah, it was, it was just a sneaker, like, I was just like, well, it would, be, it would look better if we released it in all all right, and you know it actually worked out. This is one of the few customs that I. That's awesome. This is one of the first customs I actually did. So. You may have to hold that pair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how much uh, to pay you to customize a sneaker? How does that work? Well, I also refurbish sneakers, so I bring them back to life. So refurbishing is between a hundred, between fifty and a hundred dollars, and then to customize is between seventy-five and probably three hundred, depending on the sneaker yeah, nice. and what you want to do. That's great. It's Here a we edition, have. It comes in handy. Here we have the Chicago Ones. So this mm -hmm. is the first Jordan like ever. ever. Like, yeah, this is the one that he actually played in originally wow. in 1997. So you have, well, this is actually a 2013 release. So, mm -hmm. you know, but this is the first one. So this, of course, everybody wants because he created greatness and he, he did a lot of amazing things in this sneaker. So how, how much does so that cost? This would cost 110 in the stores mm -hmm. for retail, and then now we resell it at $350. Wow. That's a profit there. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, a, good, that's a good profit <laughs> sneaker. And also we have these. These are um, black patent leather ones. So these actually also came out for 130 
-hmm. and these are now $900. Wow. So, $900? Yeah, 900 it, We're in the wrong business, Lil Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the sneakers. Some sneakers are more rare than others, so... Uh -huh. Are it, you like the most popular kid in high school right now? Like, yeah, I got all the <laughs> shoes now. What you need? I mean, <laughs> no, it's actually sneakerheads out there that's my age that actually have more pairs than I do. I mean, now, of course, because mm -hmm. I gave away my collection. And wow. I have a lot of people competing with me in okay. my school. So you, but you, quick, again, you're only one. 16. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, yeah, let's talk about the price of this, and then let's talk about what's next for you, because all right. you're still so young. Yeah. <laughs> you it, haven't even finished growing yet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hope I'm going. <laughs> yeah. I hope I don't so. Know. <laughs> How tall are you right now? 6'3". 6'3". Six three. Six three. Yeah. And you wear a size 14, 15 shoe I wear a that size you're holding, 14, right? 15, yeah. Wow. Okay. So these are the Cigar 6s, and these came out for $270. And mm -hmm. as, you, as you can see on the front, it has the Jordan ring that he won mm -hmm. for the championship. So this is part of the championship pack. So it comes with another one. It's like a brownish type shoe. It's called the Cigars. And it was dedicated to a picture where Jordan's actually holding the cigar in his hand like th I mean, the champagne in his hand like mm -hmm. this, and then the cigar in his mouth. So, it, like, the sneaker has meaning to behind. Mm -hmm. It has meaning behind it and everything else. Like, it's, like, this is an amazing shoe. I think this is a, in the bottom and all the icy part you see mm -hmm. on the sneaker actually glows up. Really? Nice. So it glows so in the dark. dark. Yeah. In so dark. it's a it's a detailed sneaker, and mm -hmm. you know you have a whole bunch of sneakers being released like this, and this sneaker's actually going for four hundred dollars now. Four wow. hundred. All right, and that's because it's not available usually. Yeah, it's not right. available to the okay. public anymore. Okay, got Chase. It. You got to come back, man. Yes, yes. And bring us some more I, sneakers. I hope so. I'm a, I'm a size 10 in winter. Oh, hold that up. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, come back. Congratulations you. on all your success. All right, thank You'll be you. right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.